Hi everyone, this is Wendy and today I want to show you my finished journal for Nick the Booksmith's The Deserted Island Journal Challenge. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about it by now. Uh, the four given things were as much paper as we wanted to I use. I chose this um, light grey paper that I've had in my stash for a while. So that was our, my first, the first given. Then we had a pair of scissors and the craft of uh, some kind of glue to use and we were also given a any kind of thread as well as the needle. That was one. So that was the four given. And the four things I chose were a file folder, which I used for the cover and some tags. And I also chose this um, brown Stadler tripless fine liner. And I also chose distress ink in the chipped sapphire and for my last chosen item I chose a sheet of this 12 by 12 pattern paper um, I wanted to cut out the flowers and use that for some kind of decoration throughout my journal so and they were the four ones and they were the four my four chosen items while I was stranded on a deserted island and they were the only things that I could fit in my bum bag. <laughs> I think um, I think over in America they call it uh, a fanny pack. Oh I don't know. Or do we call that here? And it's a bum bag over there. I don't know. Well, well anyway you know what I'm talking about. I don't know how they all fit in there but they did. <laughs> okay so this is the journal that I made just using all those items, the given and my chosen. The cover is about seven and a half by six. I made two signatures and I sewed them in and I used the file folder, the blue file folder for the actual cover and I'll tell you what i done. <laughs> I sat in here and I had the file folder and I thought okay I'm just going to fold my papers in half and that's going to give me the size that I want and I can just, I can use the scissors to cut down the file folder which was a little bit hard so I decided to use the edge you can see this edge here, it's got a bit of a line on it. Um, I used the edge of the paper to actually draw a straight line with my uh, fine liner and then I could cut the cover out. So that was pretty good. And then I picked this up, the cover and my glue and everything and grabbed my papers and went out into the lounge room and I'm sitting there and I didn't take my scissors out. <laughs> I'm sitting there and I thought gosh this is going to be so hard because you know I'm going to have to rip all the paper. <laughs> I don't, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Anyway I'm out there and I'm folding the paper in half and I thought okay I need to get the paper down just a little bit smaller so I started ripping all the way around my edges after I folded the piece of paper in half. So this is what I was doing. I was out there going like this just to get the size of the cover that I'd cut. I ended up with a lot of these ripped off strips before I realized oh my god we were allowed to use scissors. <laughs> But anyway, I thought, okay, I'm having fun. I'm not. I'm just going to keep ripping. Okay, I'm on a desert island. I misplaced my scissors. They they got buried in the sand. <laughs> so I ended up with all these little strips, and I thought, okay, I'm not going to throw those away because 
because I had my fine liner, I can actually write little sayings on them or, um, you know, do something with these strips. And that's exactly what I decided to do. I inked around all the edges on the strips and I decided to do some of that paper weaving. So that was my, that's what I've decorated the front and the back of my journal with, some of that um, paper weaving. And then I got a little bit more courageous. I've been watching a lot of people fold their paper flowers. And if you don't know, they are pretty easy to do. So you just fold that in a back, back on itself and you just keep twisting the paper around as you go. It's not the most perfect flower but it does look like a flower. And then when I got it to the stage that I wanted it, I just grabbed my glue and went and stuck a heap of glue underneath there and also at the back. And that's how I put my little flower here on the cover. And then with some of the twine that I use to sign, um, to stitch in the signatures, I just put a little, uh, wrapped a little bit around, used some glue, put on there and put some dangles down here just, um, just to break it up a little bit. And I also used some of the twine. I grabbed three pretty long lengths and I plaited this closure. Oh, not good for these old hands, but I've done it. Um, not sure if you're going to see that real well, but there's like three, three pieces of twine. Come on, focus. Three pieces of twine, and I've plaited that just to have a little closure on the journal. Um, I must say, this was such just an awesome challenge just to to try and go back to the basics and and work work out what you're going to do so like I said all I'll have show you inside all my pages have been hand torn and I have inked all around the edges of them and I used my sheet of pattern paper. Um, I cut all the flowers out in the groups of three because I just like that there. And then the little, these blue bits in between here, I thought, oh, I'm not going to waste those. So I ended up cutting out just some really nice little hearts. Um, so I have folded the front of the folder over here and just glued it at the bottom to make a little tuck spot there. And just some other pieces of ripped paper. Um, this heart here I actually cut out of uh, some of the paper and just drew some faux stitching around it. So I've got that one there. And I really like how it turned out, like with the ripped edges and then just um, inking all around them with the, the chip sapphire ink. Now up here I've got this journal belongs to. This is all my handwriting so <laughs> I tried to write as neat as possible. <laughs> oh dear. And I thought like I am stranded on a deserted island. There's nobody around. I'm feeling rather blue, which is why I think I've picked the blue file folder and the blue ink to start with. And then I thought, well, you know, you've got to make the most of what you have. And having those, the chosen, like the pattern paper, well, the flowers make me happy. That's going to cheer me up. And hearts make me happy. So I decided to make this like a, a positive affirmation kind of journal. So 
in certain parts throughout the journal I've put some positive thoughts so the first one here is stay positive and happy that's that one there then we open it up I have we'll stay over here I've got I made a little pocket there and a little tag here to punch the hole through there I used my needle which was rather hard so I've punched a hole through there just to put a little bit of the twine on I glued a little piece of rip paper and wrote each day I come in with a positive attitude and then just put another little journaling piece of paper in there in that pocket and down here I wrote live life to the fullest and focus on the positive and then <coughs> on this side here I, I'm so pleased I grabbed a pen because not only can I use did I use it to decorate it because I'm stranded on the island what was I going to use to draw in to write in the journal <laughs> so that's actually why I grabbed a marker so I'm I really cheered myself up knowing that I've got a marker until it runs out on that island to do some journaling so I've used over here um, I made a couple of stencils out of my paper so the heart one I just folded the paper in half half and cut round into the heart shape so I got that there and I was able to use my dauber and ink just to add another little decoration there and I also used my pen to draw some wavy lines and I also used that as a stencil as well so that was really good like you could make even more stencils but I just wanted to keep it rather basic I've got the wavy lines because there's just water all around me and I've got the heart because I just like hearts <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'll keep going through um, over here I've just stuck some more flowers down and these flowers I I'm going to say that they're just covered over one side of the island okay so they look so pretty so I have to have them in my journal and here I used a piece of the file folder and some ripped paper stuck on top of it um, and then I wrote, as every thread of gold is valuable, so is every moment of time. And I glued a little heart up there. And in here I've just got, I won't open it because it's got tied up. It's just, um, just a fold out of um, some inked paper. But also there's a little tuck spot, a little hidden tuck spot underneath that piece of paper there. Um, I'll show you. If that'll fit in uh, there we go so I've got another little hidden tuck spot just under that corner tuck there and then I've got another little stenciled heart up here another little pocket that says love absolutely everything in every moment I really went for positive quotes and I made a little journaling card just glued some paper paper up the top so if you don't like blue you're definitely not going to like this because there's blue everywhere <laughs> and like even using my dabber to do the um, edges and everything I still had ink all over my hands but I thoroughly enjoyed doing it so over here I've made a little side tuck spot with another little tag and just decorated it with some hearts and just some rip paper up here that says adventure then over here I've done a belly band and made some more little journaling cards so two spots one fits in there and one fits up there and the inside I've just used little pieces of 
torn paper and X marks the spot. <laughs> Don't know why, just because. And I've done a little top tuck up here and just a bit of paper with the word strength on it because you're definitely going to need your strength on a stranded on a deserted island. And up here I've got believe deep down in your heart and a little heart there as a decoration. So over here I've got some more stenciling and some more doodling with my fine liner. And this one, do more of what makes you happy. I just think this turned out so cool. And there I tried to put some kind of decoration on the pages um, without you know really going overboard. So these are just some ripped pa um, papers here that says happiness with the flowers. Um, down here in this corner I've just made a little like a corner belly band and a little tuck spot that says reflection and just a couple of little journaling tags there that fit in there and they can be held up with that little um, little tuck spot just there and because I done that paper weaving on the front and the back covers I decided just to use a little bit inside the book for some decoration that it just looks so cool and then we've got some flowers count your blessings and that's the end of the first signature with some more stenciling and some more doodling. Now <coughs> the second signature, um, I did rip the papers a little bit smaller but that's okay because you know it's all mainly hand ripped. <laughs> I think I've done pretty good. <laughs> um, I've got uh, just a decoration here with the heart and some flowers. I have a ripped tuck spot down the bottom with some flowers and some doodling and a little heart with just another journaling card there that says imagine some flowers another little corner tuck um, with another journaling card it sits in there and this one says one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. So that was pretty cool. I like that. Then over here I have made, done the paper weaving and made it into a pocket. Nice big pocket with just another little journaling card that sits in there. Lots of places for journaling. And then we've got um, a cut out heart and a bit of, bit of doodling and just more journaling page. And I like the way that the edges actually look, even like when you're looking, going through it or looking around like after you've been through it. It's so cool. I love those ripped edges. They're just so raw and sort of rustic like. There's a the center of the second signature. So I've done some more stenciling with my my two stencils that I used my fine liner and then cut out with I had a hard time cutting this one out with those really big scissors but I got there. So there's that one. Then over here I have ripped a heart and then glued another heart on and made that into a pocket and I put some of the paper weaving on the tag just so that it's a bit easier to journal on. Some more flowers, respect, um, pardon me, and down here we have another little pocket and I made just a little flip up book here and I actually sewed those pages onto the the card. Just some doodling and some hearts, some more stenciling and doodling. And then this pocket here holds this nice big card and I think this was 
the last of my oh I ended up with like a strip of my <coughs> file folder I did have it here a minute ago don't know what I've done with it now just like a little strip that's all I had left of the file folder but that's easy to journal on when you um when you put it down on the tag like that and then this little pocket it says dance among the wildflowers which is what I'm calling these ones here that are scattered all over the island and that just flips up and you can do some secret journaling just under there and the last page here I just put on a little ripped um, mat and it says if you love what you do what you do will love you back and then the back of the journal I folded this side of the file folder over glued it down there and it says aspire to inspire others and the universe will take note live for today and that just holds a nice big journaling card in it with my ripped papers and then on the back just for a bit of fun I decided to just draw a map of the island because I've been on it long enough now and I need to find out where everything is so I just thought <laughs> bit of fun um, I draw my own map so here's my hut here and we've got some mountains up this side we have some coconut trees over there we have some fresh water here with some lovely um, shady trees and some more coconuts down here so that was my island map <laughs> so much fun I can't believe I've done that but I did <laughs> okay and that's just on the back of that journaling card and that's the back of my journal. I really, really love it. And it just turned out so cool. So whimsical but so practical at the same time. And I didn't really need this on here but I don't know I just decided to plait up some of that twine and I thought okay I can make that into just a little tie for my journal. Okay and it was so much fun thank you so very much Nick I really enjoyed this challenge and I've really really enjoyed seeing everybody else's creations for it it's just been absolutely marvelous and I think there's going to be quite a few more because I think she's she's not closing it until early November or something like that okay so let me know down in the comments guys um, if you're going to take up Nick's challenge so I can go over and have a look at what you make and let me know what you think okay I shall catch you all later you have a great day bye bye